क्लास टेन दिस इज द टॉपिक ऑफ क्लास टेन एंड द चैप्टर इज लाइफ प्रोसेस इन लाइफ प्रोसेस सर्कुलेटरी सिस्टम इन दिस चैप्टर दिस इज द टॉपिक दैट इज ब्लड प्रेशर फोर आई स्टार्ट एक्सप्लेनिंग द कंप्लीट वर्क और वॉट इज दिस ब्लड प्रेशर फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट मी मेक यू अंडरस्टैंड वॉट डू वी मीन बाई द प्रेशर एक्सर्टेड बाई द ब्लड ब्लड एक्चुअली इट स्टार्ट इट फ्लोज इन द आर्ट्री ब्लड फ्लोज इन द आर्ट्रीज विच आर सेंट बाई द हार्ट when the blood flows through the artery it exerts pressure it exerts pressure to the artery wall and this is what is known as blood pressure the pressure exerted by the blood to the artery walls is called blood pressure so why it happens why it happens it happens during the ventricular contraction i have already made you understand in my circulatory system when i was explaining about the structure and function of the heart we remember we remember that the structure is like this is this is the part this upper part is known as auricle this part is known as auricle and the lower part what do we call we call ventricle and we also know that this 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 part is this part is of four chamber this heart is of four chamber that also we are knowing and the movement of heart is like contraction rhythmically this part is auricle and if this part is ventricle they move rhythmically when the upper part constrict the lower expand or relax and when this lower part constrict the upper part relaxes this is what the movement of the heart so when blood when blood moves from auricle to ventricle there is not much pressure there is not much pressure exerted so this this pressure is known as diastolic pressure the pressure which is exerted by the blood move from auricle to ventricle is called is called diastolic pressure at the same time when this lower part constrict and send the blood and send the blood to aorta and towards the lungs in aorta for distribution and lungs for purification as you are knowing i have explained in circulatory system this blood is exerted in pressure this blood is exerted in pressure and it goes to main aorta through which it moves to arteries and arterioles so it gives pressure to the walls of arteries that is why the walls of arteries are thicker than the veins the walls of arteries are thicker than the veins so that they can they can accept or they can uh, uh, go through this pressure otherwise the arteries wall may burst and internal bleeding may start but this is this is not done because of the thick wall present in arteries and this pressure which is exerted by the lower portion of the heart or you can say the constriction of ventricle is called systolic pressure what it is called systolic pressure this is what is known as systolic pressure so this systolic pressure and diastolic pressure is measured by a device and that device is known as sphygmomanometer what do we say we say signo manometer in simple uh, uh, language what do we speak simply what do we say bp machine what do we say bp machine but actually the name of that bp machine is sigmo manometer and do you know how it is measured it is measured like 120 mm hg this is what 120 mm hg normally in a healthy person the measurement of blood pressure is 120 by 80 mm hg this is systolic pressure and this is diastolic pressure this is systolic pressure which is which is created by the constriction of ventricle and this is 
diastolic pressure which is because of because of the constriction of uh, or even upper part of the heart what do we mean by this mmhd in the sigma manometer if you'll see there is a mercury a line of mercury the movement of mercury according to the blood pressure in millimeter in millimeter then it is measured then it is measured so this measurement is for healthy person for healthy person why blood pressure increases reason may be of different reasons may be there but mostly what it is told that when the blood vessels constricted then with a great pressure blood is exerted to the arteries so it needs more pressure and because of that what happen this blood exerts more and more pressure over the arteries wall and then this measurement increases this measurement increases and it goes higher side it goes higher side then what do we say we say this is for high blood pressure what do we say we say this is high blood pressure then how do we measure low pressure low pressure is measured low pressure is measured by the sigma manometer only but what is the reason of this low pressure this low pressure is due to the decreased blood pressure due to the decreased resistance of flow of blood due to the decreased resistance to flow of the blood in arteries in that condition what happen the measurement of this systolic and diastolic pressure decreases it goes down it goes down so this is what the reason of high blood pressure and low blood pressure i hope you people have understood well about this blood pressure how do we measure what is the reason behind it and what is systolic pressure and what is diastolic diastolic pressure if you understood well please like and comment and wait for the next video of the next chapter that is nervous system thank you all of you